Hey guys, what is going on today? So today, we are gonna make this, this nice Home Depot bucket here, into a portable fish finder, my Helix 5. Okay, so, the way that I've kind of planned this out is that I'm gonna have my Helix on the top of this bucket, have my battery inside the bottom here, also have my wiring, transducer wiring in the bottom. Then I'll have a hole, transducer come out, down into my hole. I'm also going to put this UV light that I ordered. I'll link it below because it's kind of hard to find. I had to do quite a bit of research to find it. Um, basically, inside of my bucket. And then, uh, yeah, that's my plan. So let's get into it. Okay, so I'm going to... Rip the lid off. Start with just the lid. And I am going to grab the bracket, the mounting bracket. I think I'm going to have it set up kind of like this. You can see it's a little offset, a little bit offset more towards what will be the front. And the reason why I'm doing that is because you'll see this is a little bit deeper. Um, and I also have my wires and connections coming off the back. So that's going to have to come off the back of the unit down into my bucket where my battery is. So I will go ahead and get my... Okay, so now you can see I have four holes here. One, two, three, four and that will fit my bracket. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take these screws here that I purchased, just some um, machine screws. I also got some lock nuts and some washers here. So I'm just gonna empty all of this out because it's easier to work on. And I just have just plain flat washers. Okay, so I am going to take one screw through the bracket into the hole. So I have basically like that. On the bottom, I'm going to go flat washer, and then nut. Do that three more times, so I will fast forward through this part of the video. Okay, there we go. So we have the bracket mounted on the top now. You can see, probably cut out with some, some shorter screws, but not the end of the world. It's inside of the bucket. So I'm not going to uh, not gonna worry about that too much. Okay, so just to give you an idea, I'm going to Put this helix. Oh, and another note, guys. Make sure you update your helix. Um, so there was an Instagram post not too long ago from Hummingbird saying that there was an update for a lot, a lot of the fish finders. So just a heads up, guys. Make sure, make sure your electronics are all up to date because a lot better than if they're not, to say the least. Okay. So make sure this is in here. So, you can see now, I've got the screen on the lid, 
I know you might think, hey, that's a little wobbly, a little unstable. Well, I'm also going to have a battery in the bottom of this that's going to be pretty heavy. So I'm not too worried about tipping or, or falling over issues at all. So when I look at the back here, I'm going to need a hole somewhere here just to get my, my power cord and my transducer cord in from the bucket to the head unit. So I'm going to look, and just because the way I have it set up here, you can see, like, this hole here, or this, um, not hole, I should say, but this, this indentation here is a little big, actually, but that's the perfect place for it. So I'm going to drill a couple holes in here, and I'm going to use my transducer end and my power end here to make sure that hole's big enough, because these need to plug into this. Okay, so you can see here, I've got my hole through there, so I'm going to take my Transducer cable and my power cable. Let's see, okay. So power cable fits and transducer cable fits. Perfect. So I know now these are going to plug into the back of the head unit. And I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. Another important item, guys, to remember is that this is an open water unit, so it's the way the power cord comes, it doesn't come with ends for a battery. Okay, so I bought these little crimp on connectors, super cheap, really easy to put on. You just slide them on over the wire, crimp them down, and they're not going anywhere, guys. They're on there. So that's going to help um, also, but if you have a year-round unit, you probably have the case, you probably have battery ends. Um, this I didn't get that with because, again, I use this on my boat in the summer and in the spring. So that's why I had to get these connectors to crimp them on. That's super important um, because without this, you probably won't have power unless you just put the ends on the battery, but I don't suggest doing that. Okay, so let's take our handy bucket here. We have all of this wire, all of this cord, I should say. This is my open water transducer. This isn't the transducer I'm going to be using. I am going to get the proper, um, the proper ice transducer for this unit, but for the purpose of demonstration for this video, It'll do just fine. So I'm going to put everything in here, along with my battery. Push the lid down, and there you have it. Now, next, I want to put this on here. Um, this is that little ultraviolet ring light, super handy. Runs off the battery for your fish finder. It's always lit. You can get an inline switch. I didn't get that. Not the end of the world in my opinion. So what I want to do is I want to put this kind of like just right on the side of my bucket really. Um, I am going to pay attention to which way the handle is um, because I want to use the handle to carry it if I have to. So I'm going to, in a perfect world, lid with something like this. Handle will come up from behind the lid, lift it up, be able to carry it, do everything I need to do. Great. So I bought one that was made for Humminbird because I used to have an ICE 35. I've since sold that. So I uh, won't need 
this little gimbal arm. I could keep it, could use it, could put it on a different way. It's not going to. So what I'm left with is this ring light with this um, screw. There is a wing nut here that I can tilt this, but I'm not too worried about that functionality at this time. So I will just tighten that up nice and tight. Screwdriver. It's not going anywhere. So I want to have the wire at the bottom, not at the top, not this way. I want to have it this way so that I can run my wire into my bucket. Um, one thing that I am going to take into consideration is the fact that this is going to be in snow. This whole unit bucket it's going to be in some snow, it's going to be in some water. So I don't want to place this super low to the bottom of the bucket because then I'm going to get snow and water inside the bucket on the battery um, and that's just something that I don't want to do. So I'm going to have this like, I don't know, I'd say a quarter down from the top of the bucket, quarter of the way down. Um, I'm going to make a little mark in here where I'm going to put the hole of the screw. So I'm looking here. That's probably a good spot right there. Mark. So you can see, I have my hole right there. So I'm going to take the lid back off, set it to the side, like this, and I'm going to use, I think I have an extra flat washer here, I do. So I'm going to use, oh, man, come on. So I'm going to use this flat washer here and put it on the inside of the bucket. So I'm also going to drill a little hole for all my wires because I'm going to need that. I just took this apart, so it's just a male female connector. Just took it off. Um, put the female end in the bucket. Put the male end through the hole. Take my washer. Put it there. Take the wing nut that it came with. Just screw that on. And there. There we go. Okay, so now I have my UV light on the side. Here. Boom. Okay, so now I have my head unit on the top. I've got my UV light unit on the side. And inside the bucket, you can see here I've got just all my wires, my transducers in there, um, my you can see the ring light, how that was wired, how that was wired and screwed in there, like that. 
once I get my new battery, um, getting a new battery, it'll go in the bucket. It will connect to my little push-on connectors here. Two female push-on connectors. Super important they're female because the male ones will not work. Um, I'll also wire my um, wire my UV light. These ends are bared off and stripped, but not stripped nearly enough. So I'll strip those back a little bit more, and then I will wire them onto these wires that will connect to the battery. Whenever these connect to the battery, this light will turn on and everything will work and all will be well. Another important note, guys, is that the transducer, this transducer I will not be using. So I'll be using the ice transducer, but regardless, guys, you need to put one more hole in your bucket up near the top because the wire for the transducer at least the way that I have laid this out and designed the transducer will come out of the bucket here down into the hole but the excess wire will coil up inside of the bucket so that's important to note because the way this is right now wouldn't work that way because I don't have it I don't have the hole for the transducer wire um, once I have a battery and everything and I'm ready to go then I'll put my hole in then the large end of the transducer will be out the um, the wire for the transducer will come through that hole into the bucket down excess wire will coil up it'll come up as it does now up through the lid and into the head unit okay so again, it's super important to make sure that if you're going to do this the same way that I've done it, that you have that extra hole for the transducer. But that, uh, that's up to you. Again, guys, this isn't the only way to do this. I know um, this is just the way that I've planned it out, and I will be doing it this year. Um, I think it'll be pretty handy again, right? Got a little, little handle on it. And also, this isn't a five-gallon bucket. This is a three gallon bucket, I believe. Yeah. I believe this is the three gallon. So it's not a massive five gallon bucket. This is a three gallon bucket. And you can see, even without that battery in there, guys, like this isn't this isn't going anywhere. It's not gonna be easy to knock over, especially with the extra weight of that battery in there. So that is important. Um, important piece to note because you don't want to build this and then it fall over all the time when you're ice fishing and you gotta try and weigh it down with a rock or, um, or whatever, right? The other thing that I always wanted to make sure is that um, I don't wanna get my battery and a bunch of the electronics wet, so any hole that goes in the bucket needs to go up quite a ways up because even though you know some things are waterproof or water resistant, um, just not a good feeling when you're gonna have wet electronics. Another thing that I'll probably do is I'll just take some clear silicone and just maybe silicone or put a rubber grommet around this hole and I'll most likely put a little silicone around the wire hole and the um, where this bracket mounts on as well probably just uh, just to help with the water resistance a little bit um, if this thing goes all the way in the water I'm not expecting it to be water resistant and yeah so thanks for watching make sure to like and subscribe on this video comment, uh, let me know, um, is, this, uh, is this something you guys are going to do, is there something else you're going to do, this whole setup, obviously not including the electronics or the battery, but just a bucket and some fasteners cost me like 10 bucks, so I'll take, uh, I'll take the, this year at least, I'll be using the, uh, the $10 solution versus the, the 90, 100, 200, dollar solution especially because I already have the electronics I don't feel like you know spending a bunch more money if I don't have to especially when I can come up with something that will work as well as this and uh, do the job for me again thanks for watching guys appreciate it we'll catch you next time